Hello there, and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.3.6 preview playthrough as the Galactic Empire. In the last episode, we set up a Mandalorian Protectorate by encircling Mandalore so that we can go back at our leisure to take uh, whatever planets or whatever ships we want from them with boarding shuttles. But it's, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be difficult. Because apparently boarding hates me. In Joint Command it hates me, in this series it hates me. I'm just bad at boarding somehow. I'm bad at RNG. Uh, but that's a New Republic planet over there, so let's... Work nicely. Let's or not. It's a New Republic transitory miss, so let's do that. And Planetary control. I am trying to do some auto-resolves against ground units in space if I can. But... Uh, we don't have what we need to take Contram yet, so... Oh, I should put something that's not a patron unit there. Oh well. Let's go. I don't want to take this one, I want to leave these planets open for the New Republic. Uh, I'm about to invade Bill Bringy. The planet where most battles have happened in all of our playthroughs. Okay, that's just Rogue Squadron. We have an HV gun. We have a level 3 shipyard. The enemy is approaching. Reinforcements on route. Hmm. I feel like this is going to be most Reinforcements on route. Oh. That did a lot. I guess Dauntlesses were nerfed significantly. Relative to HV guns. It's hard to describe anything as a buff or a nerf right now. Because everything has changed and the basic values of weapons have changed. Why don't you ever build Golan's Quarry? Also, will they get new models? Uh, they are slated to get a uh, visual update at some point soon, hopefully. Uh, I generally don't build space structures until I have, or defensive structures until I have a planet I want to hold. Uh, Golan's are only so good as well, which is not very. Because uh, I usually don't mix them with defensive fleets. Uh, and I also feel bad about the fact that the AI can't really see them, which is something we do want to fix after 2.3.6 is out. Uh, we'll hopefully start working on the uh, orbital defenses reworks in a way that the AI is able to actually take into account when they're attacking. Lancers blow up. Space station damaged. Yeah, that's shitty. Coming around. Osman. I'll try to figure out uh, a better way to handle it for streaming on Twitch for next time. So at least YouTube, you get to choose your own latency whenever. Alright, that medium turbo laser battery. It, oh shit. It counts against me as well. I hate it when unfinished content impacts me. Let's see how it does against the Liberty. It's probably really OP right now in general, but let's see. Oh yeah, that is that is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's got to change. That was uh, that was something. I kind of want to see what it'll do against an ISD, but that was uh, that was quite the experience right there. Construction complete. Uh, oh yeah, we don't need to defend Ord Mantel because we've already got these guys up at Karita. 
you. Let's get some of our own stuff. And I get tease. What's the health value on Liberties, Bob? Do you, is it 3,200? What is it on MC30s? 1,200? Uh, what's the hull on Dauntless's actually? 4,000? It was doing, or 4,200. It was doing about 3,800, it looked like, because I think it's 400 per hard point, or 200 per hard point? 400? No, I think it's 250 ish. I'm trying to think of how many there were. Eight? Uh, let's see. I guess Ord Mantel can have this now. Just want to get our money back. Okay, let's build a Striker of Spades. Turandel. And we'll see if we can take Contrum. Hello, Aether Crows. Uh, how similar is this to Rebellion? You mean like uh, the 90s game? Rebellion slash Supremacy? It's less deep on the galactic level. Battles are much better. Ready. All right. Uh, moving on up. Yes, sir. Squad advance. AT AT ready. Roger. Armor transport ready. On my way, sir. Sensor node constructing. The enemy has been spotted. Construction complete. They keep getting away. Those look really imposing as in the shadows. Alright. Converted everything close enough. Come on, Covel. Ah, Joris, 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 Joris. God damn it. He's just getting nuked. There's so many of them. I need to convert them. Okay, no, we killed them. We killed them all. Uh, okay, I don't think there's actually anything that's gonna... Well, there, there actually kind of is stuff that's gonna kill you. So maybe don't don't get killed. That would be my suggestion. So many commandos. Now they're my commandos. See how that works.
I think the mass of commandos has been dealt with. Let's get through. Is this ATAT -AT just gonna be here? Get away. Where's the infiltrator squad? Is it gonna be up here because they built the turret up here? Yeah. He has a very high range on his force abilities. Which I actually don't mind for Joris. We're gonna need to save that ATAT. -A -A Force lightning is so powerful it even kills every shadow. ATSTs are faster. Ready for orders. Yes, it's destroyed. As you wish, General. Copy. Ready. I copy. Ignore the turret. Save the ATAT. Fuck it. Reporting in, sir. Ready that was the only real threat to the AT AT. I read you. Complying with orders. Yes, sir. Engaging enemy. Yes, Commander. Affirmative, sir. Get a repair platform Copy. there. Okay, Joris. We'll clear the way for you. Ready to go. And build a repair station. Right away. That was what, three structures, and I think they only had three or four. These ATSTs could use a tune up as well. can at least advance a little bit now and get some vision nope that's not your friend I guess we'll just walk towards the uh, little cubby hold. Oh, look, there's stuff. There's a commando there. Hey, we got him. Control achieved. 
Okay, we're gonna still leave uh, Obra Sky alone. Ooh, Rider Authority got evac. They're wow. They're actually doing a lot in the core. Uh, what's the military like? They're still doing well, but the Arado Authority and the Greater Maldruid are not just dying. Neither is the CSA, to be fair, which is really something we should be paying some attention to soon. All right, let's. Are there any hero unique ships in the mod? There are a couple. Wild card, for example. Lady Luck only ever that ship type only ever gets used for heroes. Uh Sora Sub Pleasure, yeah, whatever it's called. Uh let's get the Rampager. CF Mega Rock One. Like, I assume the New Republic is going to be able to get that under control, but they are... Like, there's nothing we can do about that. I kind of want to support them, but... There's not much we can do for them. Because I want it to be us versus them. The CSA is really the one I really want to take out, but let's let's take a look at the stats. We're at 31%. New Republic's at 34. Greater Maldrud is up to 10. Greater Maldrud is up to 10. Arado is only at 3. Independent Forces are at 13. CSA is at 8. Okay, so maybe I'm overstating their chances here a bit. Sauce. Actually, I think we should. Cause this would be episode five. Yeah, let's uh, let's make a change. It's gonna be fifteen thousand credits. So that's just a couple weeks of credits for us. It will mean we can't build any more boarding craft, so we'll have to protect that one. Um, leave that open. We're already building them there. Let's jump Thrawn up to Meriden. New Republic has conquered Corellia. Scarl is just going every which way. They even have Typhara. How many patron units have yet to be built? Let's see who's still on the... Oh, there's five of the Venators. And I think this is actually just a regular Venator. No. There's five Venators. Uh, one Strike Cruiser. Three MTCs. Three Invincible or Mobilizers. A couple Dreadnoughts. Nolan's Carrick. Enemy fleet's about to invade Hanger. Well, good for you. Tactical battle imminent. Oh shit, they have Oh that's ground that's ground units. At least some ground units. Well there's something like sixty-five patron units in this playthrough. Will world devastators be usable on the ground like bombing runs would just eat everything? No. They wouldn't have any impact on ground directly. Anything they do like that would be from the galactic level. Uh, okay, that's not actually a lot of ground units. They just had a ground unit. Or two. He's in the ship. 
I don't I don't want this anymore actually. For some reason. Choose your reinforcements. Well maybe I do. We got a lot of Star Destroyers. Yeah, you know what? We want this. Thrawn. Spaceball. James Earl Jones. Two you, two Carricks, all of our Lancers, Vagon Bray, uh, all corner frigates, Vagon Bray. Get the victories. Okay. Sorry about that, Silver. Tector. I'm gonna leave one of you towards each side. Pull up. Carrix, you have iron cannons, so use them. Support that. Uh, Antipres. Fly around there. Nope. Do it. Right, and let's... You're not going to get focused, so I'm going to bring you around the side now. Uh... Okay. Alright, kill the victory too. We don't need to worry about the bulwark as much anymore. Hold back. The Marauder. This is actually another new model. Model by Farshot. I did the texture. Okay, James Earl Jones, we can't afford to lose you. 2019 has been bad enough. Alright, that invincible needs to step back a bit. It needs to understand it's it's worth to us. I really don't want this IST to die. Ideally. ISDLE it won't die. Bring forward the Lancers. And you have power to weapons available. Okay, you actually... Ah, where are you going? Okay. We can get around everything if we are good. Yeah, the Bulwark 3 textures, we do need to switch them back. The GitHub is not very uh, cooperative with 
the uh, things like texture swaps, especially when going between Fall of the Republic and Thrawn's Revenge. So it sometimes stuff like that, and also the uh, the battle loading screen. Uh, that's why those are still using some Fall of the Republic stuff when there is a TR version of it. Uh, Pox and actually Cat Venku are working on a mod builder that'll make it easier for us to avoid those kind of file conflicts in the future. Oh shit, they had another one? They have two other ones? Not a fan. Our fleet was so spread out at that point, that was not good. We lost James Earl Jones, Silver Shadio, three VST2s, and a Carrick. All right, tag him in. <laughs> You can have on a Star Destroyer reporting in. Tactical battle imminent. Look, sir, it's them. I guess they moved him away. Welcome to Killing Floor. So if you were wondering if transports would still be really impossible to kill... Jeez, what a light show. There is still a lot of work I want to do on uh, the explosions. That's that one with like the flare out effect is the one that's work in progress right now. Like these are the old ones, uh, and we're still working on. Valerie's doing some like hand drawn textures for the explosions, the smoke, the sparks, and everything, and I'm playing around in the particle editor for it. Nineteen air attack things. Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> One nine. All right, let's get Nolan's. I get half a squad soon. Uh, Fire Blossom. Modular Task Force Cruiser. Neck is a furry. One piece Lego set. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end of the patron list there. All right. So actually, I think this is going to do it for this episode as well as the stream. I do want to save. Uh, next time, I think we're going to go for Palpatine. So we're going to record that live probably monday so or not this coming monday monday a week from now but uh hope you guys have enjoyed the stream hope you're enjoying the series for so far well i guess for people watching on youtube it'll be tomorrow that it's being recorded uh so that'll be twitch.tv slash cory loses uh and yeah so thanks for watching hope you're enjoying the series and hope to see you next time have a good night everyone